Good morning. Let's do some news. Uh, this is the real news, not this crap that you see on mainstream media. I have stories from New York, India and Sweden. Uh, I'll do the New York story first. A Muslim Brotherhood activist. He's an Egyptian. He's uh, living in New York. He made a video. Uh, he's got 143,000 followers. And he said he vowed that if he gets sick with coronavirus, he will go to the Egyptian consulate in New York to infect everyone he can. And then he urged his followers to do the same. Uh, nice. Uh, Sweden Public Service TV. They are now texting some of their news shows, yeah, in Arabic. The reason for this is that uh, you know in Stockholm, 15 people died from the coronavirus, and it was found out that six of them were Somalis. And uh, when this became known, people uh, talked about it, pointed out that the problem we have in Sweden with parallel societies. Yeah. Where, uh, despite many years of living in Sweden, uh, these people don't learn, they don't speak Swedish, and they don't take part in uh, the rest of society. So that's why public service is providing this service now. Uh, finally, this story from India: in 2012, a 23-year-old medical student was raped on a bus, and she later died from the injuries. Uh, a lot of fuss about this. People were very, very angry about it. And now four of the perpetrators uh, have been ex executed by hanging. Uh, the mother was, uh, was talking. She said, We are glad that my daughter has finally been given justice after seven years. The creeps have been hung, she said. Yeah. Uh, now, this is exactly what I want. We want. I want us to go back to this real justice. Yes. No more wimpy, pathetic justice that we see in Sweden and so many other countries. I want this to end because it doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good. India, you got the right idea. This is what I want. Yeah. So let's do it. <laughs> Alright, that's all. Be good. Bye.